Hey, wrestling here. Uh, we're starting off a video here um, where basically someone has asked on Reddit to get some opinions on their gameplay uh, and get some tips from their gameplay footage. I thought it's an eight minute video. I might as well just make one of these where I, a killer kind of, you know, me goes over footage and gives some tidbits on his gameplay. Um, I can't say, I think his name is Svignet, like S V E N I A T. Over on Reddit, just asking for help here. Um, for him, I am a killer who's had a, had a hundreds of hours. I'm not sure if it's 400 or 500 right now. Um, main killer. Uh, Oni's not my best, but you know we'll go. Over, you said it wasn't Oni specific, so we'll go over the playstyle. Um, and I've been run, rank one multiple times. I'd like to think I'm pretty good at it, at least enough to give some tidbits here. Not pro by any means, but you know we'll go over it. Um, but for everyone else, I've always kind of wanted to do these where I went over gameplay. If you have any gameplay you'd like checked out, um, for this or Survivor, um, maybe even Identity V. But if you're low rank, I'm not amazing at that either. Um, I'm just going to go over what he does wrong and try to help him out here. This way, you know, information for you guys and information for him. And, okay, so the first thing we kind of notice here... Um, I'm not sure. Move that off screen. You were kind of far from the... Okay, well, two things here. But when you come at this wall, you want to be as close to the wall as possible. Especially when going around corners. Learn to use the W and E and Q key at the same time. I think you're doing it. You're doing it right there. But you want to hug the wall closer. This survivor, if you've noticed, she's hugging right up against the wall. Because she... That's the shortest path. You want to make your path as little as possible to catch up as fast as possible. If you're a couple feet from the wall, that's a couple extra feet that you have to cover. Um, it's just you want to hug that wall a bit better. Also, you broke the chase here, I think, because you heard the totem and the totem break. Maybe you thought Fangman was a good runner, so you decided to break off. But this is going to break your, your chase. It's going to get rid of Bloodlust. Unless you find this person immediately. And there's no way you're... Yeah, there's no way you're going to have found them. Now, another thing. You didn't see scratch marks. So they probably walked around this wall. But another thing. If you don't see scratch marks. Um, it's sometimes a good idea after all this to keep in mind. Watch the locker a little bit. But because you saw scratch marks here, of course. You know. You know where they went. And that's... Nia. Okay. Uh, yep. She just... clicks at you. Did you not immediately jump a window like this don't don't jump a window and immediately turn around unless the survivor is basically doing the same loop like four times it's almost never good killers do not jump like survivors and killers actually don't jump windows quickly but killers really don't jump windows quickly this was this was kind of like a huge mistake in a lot of cases even if a survivor jumps a window you can kind of just keep cycling Okay, lost track of her. She ran around the path. But uh, she ran around the building. That's That happens. But you you almost just want to keep on the survivor until Bloods picks up. This is a good switch. The killer shack is actually somewhat difficult. And you saw this Nia. That was a good choice. Good job getting the end of that swing. People don't usually notice that the lunge... Swinging a bit early. But I guess the pallet was there, so... Okay, uh, you wanted to immediately break that pallet. It's too safe of a pallet. Unless it's Nia, unless it's Nia mis it makes a huge mistake, which she did. Um, usually, you almost just want to always kind of just break the pallet unless it's an unsafe pallet where there's not a lot of wall and you can juke them around and try and get them with like stage one bloodlust. Uh, a good player would have been able to run you around this a bit longer because... When you were on the tires, she should have been on the other side of the truck. She shouldn't have been, like, at the pallet. But that's the survivor, and, you know, we got kind of lucky there. But, you know, good job switching off of the killer shack uh, survivor, the Meg that was there. Because, quite frankly, the killer shack is a really good spot for survivors. I'm not saying leave people at the killer shack, learn to deal with it, but, you know. Uh, small tidbit there, you want to go for the back hook. It's just, it gives them, it gives you an extra second or two, or, you know, of time that they have to be on the hook. The positioning just puts them further in the basement. 
not saying for tunneling or camping, but it just it gives you an extra second or two for them being on the hook or for you to get back in that direction. Still really need to hug these walls a little bit better. You're doing it good there. It seems like you're like half half aware of it. Like you do it sometimes, but you don't seem to always do it. Um There you go. This that first jump wasn't a lunge, which is a mistake. Quick swipes you almost never want to do. You almost always want to lunge. The recording seems to skip. It's kinda weird. Yep, break the pallet. Okay, that took about as long as breaking the pallet. She's also already injured, so you didn't really need to do this. Yeah, and it's harder to turn. She's just gonna run you around now. That goes really far. I'm not. A, I'm not in any means. I'm a little surprised by that. But this is all. This is all like a huge waste of time. You could have run her down by now. Oh, you're gonna make that with that range, aren't you? Yeah. That's insane, actually. That's kind of cool. Um, I've only got him a few times. They're mostly just buy killers for perks and throw them on like ghost face. Okay, you don't want to immediately swing because they couldn't pull him off that quickly, anyways. That could have worked. That would have been that would have been a good choice. Going on the other side of it usually would result in them kind of jumping down. But um, just gaining a lot of distance on you. I actually do that a lot. I'll swing at people through the window. Survivors hug the wall, and it can sometimes be really I. I think she went back around you and you uh, kind of skipped it there. That was well played. I'll give you that one. Like, raging every time you see a pallet to avoid the pallet seems kind of weird because it kind of cuts your power off right as you hook them. Generally, one of the things a lot of Onis will do is they'll hook someone and then engage the power so that they can run to the gen or you use barbecue and chili to run to where a survivor is. So like here, you know who they are. You know they jumped down, but you didn't see them, so they went left. Very good. They went in the building. Don't know where they went. That's fine. I don't know where they went either. You got that turn pretty good. Kind of, Oni's turn while he's running is really, really annoying to deal with. Really difficult, in a way. Takes a bit of getting used to. I would have looked around a little bit more to see if the third survivor, or the fourth survivor picked up from Barbecue and Chili. You know where these two are, but you're still missing the one. Yep, there you go. Seeing that one. There's nothing wrong with camping at after the gates are uh, powered. No matter what anyone tells you. It's completely normal for a killer to... See, here's... Really, I would have checked the... I would either have checked the gate spine... Okay, your video jumped. I don't know what happened. I would have checked the gate. We saw the Nia running towards the gate. Good. I don't know why you're running here. That worked out. I don't know. There's... Yeah, the only problem now is the power down. 
<laughs> that sucks. So that's something you, you have to pay attention to as well. Just staring at him. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have powered up and chased the other person. So... Because, like... Well, you were chasing this chick? I think it's Meg. Yeah. At the end here, you didn't really need the power. She's already injured. So the moment you got her down, I would have just either... No, I... See, the running here. This wasted so much time and got you away from the door. And she's crawling toward it. I would have stopped right there and I would have picked up... I would have immediately tried picking up the other person, like depowering down. I mean, realistically, I wouldn't have. I don't think I would have gone to the power at all at that point. Like the major things to go over is you're spending a lot of time away from walls. Uh, you tend to lose chase and switch targets a lot. Sometimes, and it, I guess that's fine because you're learning which ones you should and should not chase. Like, the the swap that got you this Nia was a great, great idea. Getting away from that killer shack and getting to a better pallet and possibly a player who doesn't know what they're doing as much um, with looping is a good idea. Um, you use your power in ways that I feel are kind of weird. Um, not the best only player, so it might just be me, but there are cases where I feel like you're running and using that power to... Try to avoid pallets. You don't want to be that afraid of pallets. Worst case scenario, all killers have bloodlust. If you chase, eventually you'll get that. You're going to get that survivor. Um, and then we have we have one or two. Maybe that's two survivors here. We got two here. We know where they all are, but that's hard to see in the game. You know, I would I didn't notice that through the video. Swinging at this person immediately when they're on the hook. You just don't even. You. You don't want to try to do that. You pretty much, because it takes them a good two seconds to pull someone off the hook anyways. You can go for the yank just to pull them off, interrupt them, or just hit them. Um, I appreciate in a way that you left the other person, went after this person as to not to tunnel. But that's kind of only a thing that really matters a ton after you've gotten better at the game as a killer. Um, you just don't want to Focus down one person. If they get unhooked right in front of you and they're working together like this, I mean, it, it, they seem like they could be survivor friends. I'm not sure. Um, you know, it, you could down them. Even if you don't want to hook them, if you feel bad and you feel like the other person, this person was just farming the other person, put them on the ground. Give the other survivors something to do without making it a hook. If you really don't want to tunnel that person down that just got unhooked, Put them on the ground. That way, they at least another survivor besides her has to come rescue her. You know, something has to be done. Um, also, just try jumping windows a little less. Other than that, you're getting the Oni, like, his charge attack you're doing pretty well with. Um, turning's pretty on point. It's just using it a bit too much in weird situations is probably where you're worst off other than that i know this went on a bit longer than your actual video hopefully this helps i mean if you have any questions reach out to me i've got my youtube channel and you can add me on steam um and i'll do more videos i mean if you want more gameplay like that i'll try to get some you know some program i can you know draw like a highlight or go over a little bit more in detail this is just kind of something it's morning and i'm saw it and i figured i could you know Throw my two cents in. Other than that, um, you know, I would say Infectious Fright is alright, but kind of weird. Maybe get Ruin on this. I mean, I know everyone complains about Ruin, but it's... Even if you don't... If you get to the point where you don't need Ruin, you have other... You have a build in mind, right? Like... People complain about Ruin, but if you're not running Ruin, you're probably running something that's like Insta-Downs or something that eventually leads to a Mori like Devour Hope or 
got the nanophobia or some very fast killer. It's just just throw ruin on everyone if you don't if you have ruin. Um, I think it's the thrilling thrilling tem tremors. I would these two perks. I would almost just say might be kind of weird on Oni, and that'd be it. That'd be my thought process. You do ruin, um, and if you re you can use one of these two as the fourth one. Um, but other than that, probably something like. Well, I guess infectious fright is is pretty good just because you can insta down people. But people really like getting away from the oni. They'll run. They'll leave scratch marks. The fourth perk's up to you. We can I, I can always think of it if you want one. Uh, figure it out. Maybe discordance, so you know where they are, so you can run over to them in case you don't see anyone on barbecue. That'd be my idea. Other than that, you know, GG.